City of Douglas Mayor and Commission meeting. This will serve as our regular meeting, March 14th, 2022. Next thing on the agenda is the invocation. Commissioner Mike Gowan. gratitude for the many blessings that we enjoy. We're thankful for this land in which we live, the freedom of opportunities that we enjoy here, and the relative the peace and prosperity that we have, particularly in light of the events of the world this day. We're thankful for our Savior Jesus Christ and His Gospel that helps us understand where we came from, why we're on this earth, and where we go when we pass away. We're grateful for His example and His grace. We're grateful for each for all of our citizens, for the many men and women who work hard every day and abide peacefully with one another and do the best they can to improve our community. We thank you for our employees, for all those that put in that same effort to make the city of Douglas work. Father, we pray at this time for a blessing to be upon us. Help us to remember the source of our blessings to be grateful for what we have, and to be working to make things better. We are mindful of the people of Ukraine at this time oh, yes. who are under oppression and are fighting for their very lives and their freedom. We pray for their safety and protection that thy divine hand will be upon them and that peace would be restored as soon as possible. Father, we pray for all those in that same position around the world that don't enjoy the blessings that we have in our country. Help us do the best we can to be a better example and to share our resources as we can as fellow Christians. We continue to pray for our community. We pray for the family of Sandra Robinson. It's been 12 long years and they still don't have closure for what's happened to their daughter. We pray that the person that is responsible for this terrible crime that we brought to justice. We pray that I would touch the hearts of those people who have information, who have the ability to give aid and make sure justice is done that they, their conscience will be freed. And we pray for those who are working on that case that, they would, that their minds and hearts will be open to be able to find the leads that they need to solve this case. We love thee. We thank thee for our blessings. And we ask for these things in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Next item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. Tonight, from the Coffin County Navy ROTC is Lieutenant Commander Rush, excuse me, and Lieutenant Junior Grade Daniel. May be seated. The next item on the agenda is the approval of the order of the agenda. So moved. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> next item on the agenda is the consent agenda items. As always, the city manager will read off those items placed on the consent agenda during the work session for transparency. Mr. City Manager, would you please read off those items placed on the consent agenda? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Madam Council, we have eight items coming over on the consent agenda, and I'll read them all for you. Uh, item one, uh, approval of the February 28th. Uh, 2022 minutes uh, with those changes um, uh, mentioned in the work session. Next will be item five, approved modifications to the weatherization grant. Next is approval of the FY22 re-roofing of the water department uh, building located at 320 South Pearl. 
Next is approval of the FY22 soil and stormwater maintenance bid. Next is approval of the slip lining of the 30 inch storm drain at the purchasing department. Next is approval of the purchase of two new 79 uh, horsepower gun pros pump at Bojo uh, Ella lift station. Next is uh, approval of the request for the road closure um, with a specific date as requested by First Baptist Church. Next is item 13, approval of the request for road closure of South Georgia State College for the graduation purposes. Those are your items. Thank you, Mr. Matthew. At this time, I entertain a motion for the consent agenda item. Second. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item on the agenda, <coughs> excuse me, is work session items for discussion or questions. Mr. City Manager, would you please lead us through it? Mayor and Council, we have four items coming over from the work session. Three are for actions. One is just for uh, announcement. First item will be item two from the work session to discuss the OD Crab House of Douglas Incorporated Alcoholic Beverage License. Roger Goddard. <laughs> OD Crab House of Douglas Incorporated which is located at the Harvey Shopping Center at 827 Southeastern Avenue, has applied for a beer and wine license. Uh, Ching Ying would be the uh, manager of the establishment. All requirements that set forth by state law and city ordinances have been met. And I'm here to have a public hearing for the alcoholic beverage license. Anybody here who speaks up against for or against the public? I call it every license for OD Crab <clears throat> There's none that I see here. All right. Staff recommendation for this year is I call it every license. All right. Thank you. We heard the recommendation. At this time, I'll entertain a motion. Um, second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item. Uh, next item will be item three from the work session. Uh, discuss and seek approval of the r and award for the consulting engineering services for, the, for CDBG grants. George Henderson. All right. The recommendation is for the city commission to approve statewide engineering of Douglas, Georgia as consultants to cover state and federal funding for the Community Development Block Grant, Annual Competition, the Mitigation, Employee Incentive Program Redevelopment Fund, and or Immediate Threat and Danger Funds through the Georgia Department of Community Affairs. At this time, I entertain a motion. So moved. It's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? I have a discussion. Uh, first, I have a question, uh, Mr. Mayor. Commissioner Manager. Pearson. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, Ms. Henderson, the employee incentive program, what would that entail? Um, the last one we did used that grant for to give you an idea was like um, when Elixir did the iodizing plant expansion, um, projects like that, that employees incentive right. grant right. program. Okay, I recall us doing that. Okay, uh, the other thing that I have is um, just an item of discussion. Um, as I stated to Ms. Henderson um, earlier today, um, <clears throat> I know that in the past we've often done work with um, one of the other uh, one of the other engineering firms that was uh, listed, which was uh, Ben Turnipseed. Uh, and my concern is, I just want us to make sure that when we are scoring these engineers and what have you and I know statewide is a local engineering firm and I know we want to favor our home folk but I just want to do, make sure we're doing due diligence to make sure that we are being fair in the scoring not saying that you all are not uh, but I just have concern that we did do a lot of business with uh, being turnip seed years ago and now now all of a sudden not all of a sudden but through the years it's faded away and my last concern is when we do uh, give our local contractors and engineers uh, these various grants and monies that they're going to get, I want them to remain mindful of community needs. 
they live here, this is home. So I would like to see more involvement in the community with helping our community to be a better community uh, with, with people that have needs. We had a gentleman that came at one of our meetings a few months ago asking when we were discussing the ARPA funds, what were we going to do for the homeless? We didn't do anything for the homeless. Uh, maybe statewide and other local engineering firms and businesses can help a little bit more in our community. I, I just want to address that because that's on my conscience. Thank you. Thank you. We have a, we have a motion. Any other discussion? All in favor? I'll agree with you. All opposed? Motion carries. Next item. <coughs> Next item is item four from the work session. Discuss and seek approval of the RFQ award for the consulting architectural services for CDBG grants. George Anderson. Our recommendation is for the city commission to approve J. Glenn Gregory Arch Architects of Ed Austin, Georgia as the architect to consult to cover state federal funding for this uh, community development block grant competition, the mitigation, employee incentive program, redevelopment fund, immediate threat, and the immediate threat and danger funds through the Georgia Department of Community Affairs. At this time, I entertain a motion. So moved. Second. It's been motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank next you. Item. All right, next item is uh, item 11. Um, to and to basically state that we have an appointment to be made at the Housing Authority Board. We'll be advertising for the next couple of weeks and bringing you back a recommendation from those advertisements to the next commission. Thank you very much. Those are all the items. Appreciate it. Uh, there are no staff comments? No, just we put one of these at you. Right. We'll make sure you. All right. Next item on the agenda is to adjourn. At this time, I entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. second. It's been motion and second. <coughs> Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned. All right. There's something in this building.